Good morning. Welcome to Morning Devotional again. Today is Thursday, April the 23rd. We've been studying in the book of James, the first three past, uh, chapters on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Today we're going to dive into chapter 4. I'm going to read down in chapter 4 and pull out verse 6 today. That's chapter 4 of James, verse 6. Let's read that together. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. I want you to think about that for a minute. But he gives more grace. That means there's not just a little bit to be had, but there's a lot to be had. There's more to be had. I want you to think about uh, your failures in your life and your need for grace in your life. He gives more grace. You see, every one of us sin, and sin comes in and tries to, to control your life. But let me tell you what grace does. Grace closes the door because grace is stronger. Grace is greater than any sin that's ever existed on planet Earth. You see, sin tries to pull you down, but it's grace that rescues you and pulls you up. It's sin that comes in like Noah's flood, but it's grace that raises you up and sits you on the mountaintop. Listen, if you don't have grace, it's not because it's not there to be had, because it is there to be had, and it's there to be had in abundance. That scripture also says, but God gives you more grace. He, he gives grace to the humble, but He resists the proud. So today, all God's asking you to do is to be humble and say, Lord, I need you and I can't do it on my own. I need your grace. Let's pray today. Lord, we need your grace today. Your word says that you resist the proud, God, but you so give grace to the humble. We thank you for your grace. We thank you that grace rises us above sin and helps us to overcome sin by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen.